confidence is going to be here. So if we have a high assessed risk of material misstatement and a high desired level of confidence, then we're going to have a higher number that we're going to be used as the confidence factor, in this case 2.9. If we have a high assessed risk of material misstatement and a moderate desired level of confidence, then we'll have a lower factor, high assessed risk of material misstatement, and a low desired confidence. Then we have a lower factor if we have a moderate and then of course and a high desired level of risk we're at this number if we have moderate and then a desired we're at this number and so on and so forth and you can see what the desire or what the effect would be in the formula given those numbers here in the confidence vac factor section of the formula calculate the sample results ratio projection method so we can so we're gonna have two methods that we could use to calculate the sample results this will be the ratio projected projection method apply the misstatement ratio to the, uh, in the sample to the population so we're going to get the misstatement ratio in the sample apply it to the population it would look something like this assume the auditor finds one thousand dollars misstatement in a sample of ten thousand so we, we have a one thousand dollar misstatements in the sample of ten thousand the misstatement ratio then is 1,000 over 10,000 or 10%. Now, if we apply that to the population, we could say, well, what if the population uh, totals 300,000? The projected misstatement would then be 30,000 because we're going to take that 300,000 times the 10% and get the 30,000. So that's the ratio projection method. Not the only method, though, because we could use the difference uh, projection method projects the average misstatement of each item in the sample to all items in the population. For example, assume the misstatement in a sample is 100 items uh, that total $400. So 100 items which total $400 is the misstatement for an average misstatement of $4. So we have the $4, which is the 400 divided by 100, and the population contains 15,000 items. The projected misstatement would then be 60,000 or the $4 times the 15,000 items. So that's going to be the difference projection method.